when people talk about the flow rate of a sump pump, how many gallons per minute, how many gallons per hour does it pump, the first thing you need to know is how high are you going to lift the water. This is called the head. The head refers to how high the pump must push the water up before gravity takes over. In this video, we're comparing two pumps, a Liberty model 257, one third of a horsepower, and a 12-year-old Zoller M53, also one third of a horsepower. Using a five gallon bucket, we are going to time how long it takes for each of these buckets to fill up, and then using that number, figure out the flow rate per minute and per hour of each pump. We're gonna stick this three foot piece of pipe onto the check valve. We're also gonna to have to add this distance here to see what the actual head is. The head is how high the water is being lifted. So now we're actually lifting the water four and a half feet, four and a half foot head. We're gonna stick it down here in the sump pit, which I've already got a lot of water in here. I'll show you this. And we're gonna pump that water up, over, and we'll put it into this bucket. Let's time it, see how long it takes. We'll actually fill up a five gallon bucket. We'll be able to get the exact mass. So you can see I set our pump down here in the water and it's actually ready to turn on and kick on as soon as we plug it in. We're gonna plumb it up four and a half feet. It's gonna come down and it's gonna discharge over here into the five gallon bucket below and we'll time that and see how many gallons per minute this thing actually pumps. Okay, are you ready? As soon as we plug this in, it's going to start pumping. Pretty quick, that bucket's filling up pretty quick. Okay, that's five gallons right there. So the Liberty Model 257 flow rate with a head of four and a half feet is 30 gallons a minute. So if you do the math, five gallons in 10 seconds, that means 60 divided by 10 seconds, that's six times five gallon buckets, which is 30 gallons per minute, 1800 gallons per hour at a four and a half foot head. I'm gonna shut it off. So that was five gallons in just a few seconds. So we'll figure that out as we look at the clock when we put this video together. Remember the float's already in the up position here because it's full of water. So as soon as I plug it in, it's gonna start pumping. And again, we'll make that measurement or you can just watch the video, the time lapse, how, how quickly it fills up this five gallon bucket. Okay, are you ready? So the 12 year old Zoller M53 flow rate, the head's four and a half feet, that's 50 gallons a minute. So if you do the math, five gallons in six seconds means 60 divided by six seconds equals 10 times five gallon buckets, which is 50 gallons per minute or 3,000 gallons per hour. Okay, one last simulation. You know, we use pumps in the backyard, we call them backyard sump pumps because you've got that low spot in your backyard that's uphill to the street. My suggestion a lot of times is to put a sump pump in. It's actually a lift station. Water's lifted up and carried out. Let's take a look at what I've set up. You can see our pump in the pit. We're rising three feet to this point, but you can see what I've done is created the uphill run to the curb. Just brought that pipe up and over the van. Let's go around here on this side and you can see it's going to discharge right here. So not only are we lifting it about eight feet total, we've got one, two, three, we're pushing it 30 feet before it gets over to here. Got the camera set up. We're going to turn it on, plug in the pump, and let's see how long it takes to fill up a five gallon bucket.
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.